from the graph of y is equal to f of x in the xy plane, the length of arc from point 1 with coordinates x1, y1 to point 2 with coordinates x2, y2 can be defined by these two integration formulas. 1 is in terms of differential element dx and the other is in terms of dy. The purpose of this video is to show you the simple derivation of these formulas. Good day, Mathalino! Again, I am Junvert. In this short video, join me on the derivation of the formula for the length of arc of the graph in the rectangular plane. If you like our videos, consider subscribing. The formula is based on the assumption that the entire graph is composed of tiny straight lines in infinite numbers. Let us connect the endpoints of this graph by a straight line. The length of this straight line is far from the length of the arc. It is not usable for the length of arc definition, not just yet. But how about if we gradually decrease the length of this line by taking half of it, and each half are also divided into two? in a way that all endpoints are moved into the yellow graph. The more we increase the number of these smaller straight lines, the more we approach to the actual length of arc. Note that we can create, mathematically speaking, infinite number of lines for this purpose. And summing up all the lengths of these tiny straight lines will lead us to the exact length of the yellow curve. How short are these straight lines? Infinitesimally small. Let us take a differential element in our graph in the form of a right triangle. The hypotenuse of this triangle is the differential length of arc dl. And let us call the legs of this triangle as dx and dy. We can then apply Pythagorean theorem to this right triangle. dl squared is equal to dx squared plus dy squared. Divide both sides of this equation by dx squared, and then we can write it in this way. Note that dx squared over dx squared is equal to 1. Solve for dl. We have the square root of the quantity 1 plus dy over dx, quantity raised to 2, and cross multiply dx. This is the definition of the differential length of arc dl. Note that we can write y prime for dy over dx. They are the same thing. And for the total length of arc from point 1 to point 2, integrate or sum up all dl's within these two points. And because our differential element is in dx, our limits of integration are from the abscissas of points 1 and 2, which means that our limits starts from x1 to x2. And this is our formula. If from our Pythagorean theorem, you happen to divide it both sides by dy squared instead of dx squared, we will arrive to this definition of differential length of arc, where the dy and dx change in position. We can then call dx over dy as x prime to lessen the burden of writing. Integrate both sides, and we have this formula. Observe that our limits now starts from y1 to y2. It is because we are integrating in terms of the differential element dy. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy and at the same time, learn from watching this presentation. Have a good day and see you in our next video. Bye-bye!